We also have a trash panda from Q and a thunder chicken from Q. And then we got the, uh, the honey badger. You can see even with the stock extended and the long suppressor, this thing is still very small. So I've only shot this a little bit, just enough to sight it in. It takes a regular AR mag. And uh, we're gonna shoot a little bit more for you guys. And we have a variety of interesting user submitted targets. Let me show you those before we shoot this thing. These first two uh, are from David O'Malley and Joel Beltran from Illinois. And they work for a company called Building Vision and Variety. This one is polycarbonate and this one is acrylic. And they're both about four to five inches thick. And we are going to shoot them and it shall be great. I just realized I said Illinois, and I know I'm gonna get ripped up in the comments, but I know how to pronounce Illinois, so my bad. This one, we actually don't have uh, the note for this one. Someone at the bunker opened this up. I guess they lost the note or there wasn't one. There's some Magic the Gathering cards on this, I think is what these are. Yep, they're Magic cards. Uh, so we're gonna get some extra mana, which would be nice. And I think in here, there's a bunch of uh, papers and t-shirts and duct tape. That's all I know about it, because I'm just guessing by kind of feeling it, looking at it. This one is uh, sent to us by Jeremy, and it is a bunch of random things. He said this is made out of assorted yard sale wrenches, hand-selected, t-shirt reinforced flex seal for spall, gorilla tape for easy mounting, bandsaw blade spring steel support for flexibility. And then he wrote us a note too that said it, it's not very flexible, which it's not at all. Like there is flex to it, but like, nah. We're gonna say this one is not flexible. I mean, size is good though. Like if you look at the size wise compared to this and this, it's a lot lighter, a lot smaller. This one's actually very interesting. So this is from Wes, he's a welder fabricator and he is actually from Texas. And he made these two things. One is for a forearm protection. So it's just for your front forearm. So the theory is you'd get this tight and then you have your pistol up like this and you have this blocking you know, your forearm's safe, but also your body behind it as you come in like this. Go into a room like that. The other one is for your front thigh. So you only have one on a leg and one on an arm. So I'm not actually sure if this one goes this way or this way, but it's for your front thigh. So as you're walking in a room like that, this is kind of shielding a decent amount of your body. Not like the important parts. Uh, keep your eyes to yourself. But it is kind of in front so you can see it's it looks like it's steel all around but it's actually hollow um it's not you can hear it it is not solid steel the smaller one has a type of kevlar sandwiched between two pieces of 3 16th non-hardened pipe the leg protector is made the same way but with layered 18 wheeler straps the strap loop on the leg protector is to be used with your belt to hold it up oh that makes sense your belt goes through that i guess it looks like they are the same. So this is just layered steel, and I think he must have put Kevlar in between them. He thinks it'll stop most pistol rounds and 5.56, five, so small rifle rounds. Okay, Wes, we're gonna find out. All you guys, thank you for sending this stuff. Also, this guy made us a knife out of an old file, which is pretty sweet. You can still see how it has the ribs in it like a file. Huh, huh, huh. Careful there. Nine millimeter going first, and we are just going to start left to right and uh, see what we can do with these targets. Oh man, oh, we got a jam. We're trying some hollow points we had never tried before. And uh, yeah, they don't run. Okay, got some better ammo. That one went in. Back to the nine millimeter. Let's go see what we got. Bam, solid hit, good dent, but nothing even close to penetrating. This one, solid hit, got a hole, maybe a dent in the back, but I think it's just a fold. I don't think that one's close either. This one went in right here, nothing. Nothing came through the back, solid. These, dude, that's cool. Um, that one looks like it bounced off. I don't see a bullet in there. So that one did not, I think it went through one layer and cracked that first layer of nothing else. This one, wow, it's actually separated the layers. You can see the bullet in there too. So a bullet is still in there, went through the first layer, stopped in the second. Nothing even close to going through. Let's shoot something bigger. Q does a really good job at kind of their color schemes. And so we went ahead, like it just looks cool though. They're all different colors. So we went ahead and put these Vortex razors that kind of have this like brown finish on there, which is cool, just to kind of contrast them. 
make different colors all around. So you got black and you got like a silvery and then you've got the darker gray and a darker gray and then you got brown. I don't know, it just looks really cool. And then also with the suppressor on them, they've got this like titanium suppressor down here, which is silver and they just look cool. I'm just bragging about them. All right, mini fix time. So this is a short barrel. It is, that that is a pistol stabilizer brace, which is pretty sweet. So this is classified as a pistol. Um, it takes AR mag. We're gonna stick a long one in there right now. I actually am gonna shoot without ears first because I have not heard how loud these are with this can in this setup. Um, so supersonic. We got all the sample from Mission Ridge Range and Academy here in San Antonio. Uh, okay, I keep wanting to put my ears on, but no ears. We're shooting, I'm gonna hit dirt with no ears first. Just see how loud this thing is. I didn't get a ring. All right, let's shoot some metal. Dude, <laughs> that hits so hard. So the metal is way louder than the crack of the bullet. But ding! All right, let's push it out to, I don't even need this trash. Let's go out to a hundred. Dude, it's cool hearing it rip through the air as it goes down there. So I was sighting it in earlier with subs, and you would hear ding, which I'll show you guys in a minute, but supers are moving. Oh, I pulled that one. That was me. Easy does it. So cool. So I think the beauty of this thing is you could easily put this in your backpack, even with a suppressor, and have a very tiny little backpack gun. You know, even with the suppressor, it is so small. And then you go out hunting or have it for self-defense or whatever you want. You can shoot targets up close. We have, this is a one to six on here. So you can knock it all the way down here to one and use it just kind of like a red dot. Like we just use it like a regular sight. Or if you want to shoot out to, you know, 300 yards, we got a six X on here. <laughs> Let's see if I can clear the Texas star quickly with this. Oh, moving with the scope is weird. <laughs> Woo! Dude. So this thing does not, I'm gonna shoot one more round so you can see it. So this thing does not go all the way back. I think it's just a 45 and back so you can get like back on target very quickly. Dude, 30 round mag is a lot. Whoa, there was a sub in there. Weird. Let's see if this one's a sub too, if we just got one random ammo. Okay, we definitely are shooting subsonics right now. That's weird. We loaded that mag wrong. <laughs> it's so quiet. All right, listen to the dirt. That was me. All right, I'm getting excited. This is gonna be a hit though. So cool. All right, we're out. So I think this mag suits it a little better, having a 20 round mag. Yeah, I think that just looks so good. That is perfect. 20 round P mag in there. Dude, so good. So good. I think we should shoot subs at it at our targets, and then supers? What do you guys think? Let's see what we can do on our targets. Left to right again. Let's see what we got. This is a freaking sweet piece. Subsonics, as expected, did less than the nine. That's a nine, that's a 300 sub. Here's our 300 sub, nothing. Um, where'd this one go? Right there. Oh, shoot dog, crazy. That one went right through. That was not there before. You can see where it hit the center buck right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yep, still warm. It like has melted into this. There's our macaroni noodle out of our 300 blackout. So 300 Blackout Subsonic took this out. 
you are no good. Um, let's see what we got here. That Serena Blackout did the same as the nine. Didn't do anything very interesting. This one caught it. Again, looks like in the first layer. Looks like it went through the first, stopped on the second, just like a nine millimeter. I was thinking about shooting some supersonics out of that, but I think I want to shoot a different supersonic round, which you guys have seen before. Come check it out. Come on. Hey, it's fun. It's fun. Next up is a AK-105. You guys have seen this thing. Um, chambered in 545 by 39. We put some Zenico furniture on it. Surefire light. And it uh, it shoots a little skinny, fast-moving round, much like a 556. So, it should have some good penetrating power. The way to beat armor is to be fast. Let's see what we can do. I uh, might have missed. It didn't move at all. I might have missed that first one. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I did hit it. It just was going very fast and went straight through. Oh no, it stopped. Dang. It's just heavy enough that it didn't move. So that shows you how thick that is. Went in, made a hole, went straight through this first layer, but it's a hard layer, so I guess it broke apart, caught in the Kevlar sandwich in the middle, um, and stopped. This is cool. This guy actually did put a lot of work into this, if you think about it. So I think these were some, like, you know, oxygen tanks or something. Um, but he put a strip of metal and welded it all along the seam. So, like, put a lot of time, a lot of welding and grinding time in there. Thank you for grinding so hard, my man. Appreciate you. Uh, that one did stop. This one went in right here. So you can actually see some of the wrenches in there. See how close they are and some of his uh, rubber for spall. Did not go through. Complete stoppage on this one as well. Dang, look at this. So you can actually see, that's I think the uh, 300 blackout from earlier. Oh no, that's definitely not. That's, that's, the, that's this one, it's very hot. Um, but it went through the first layer and stopped on the second, just like the other two. So, but it also knocked a big hole in it. That did stop. This one, uh, dude went straight through and you can see a line where it went through. Went all the way through. This one is done. Goodbye. Hold on. Come back, I was just kidding. Ugh. I wanna see if I can see in here. Man, that's some good glue. No, we're just gonna leave that. Not because I can't get it, because I, I don't want to. It's not, worth, it's not worth the time for content. You know, Not that it would take me any time, because I could do it really fast. Uh, it's just the content wouldn't be good. 762 by 54 r is quite a large round, actually. Um, very powerful. It's a big girl, and uh, she does big girl things. Ugh. So we get the old dragon off out, and um, we're going to probably make it through everything. I'd be very surprised if uh, this stops, but there's only one way to know. All right, um, we got the big boy coming in hot. That just threw stuff everywhere. All right, I'm not sure what was going on with that. Let's go see what we got. Hey guys, how's y'all's day going so far? You going good? Yeah. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Oh my gosh. I always am a guy who likes a good bulge. And so when I see a good bulge like this, like it just makes me happy. Like when I see a, a good solid bulge, like the one in my hands right now, mm, that's a nice bulge. Coming in hot right there. Looks very similar to this hole. But as you can see, way more energy on the backside. But you know, that would actually really hurt probably. I'd have a good old bruise on my quad right there. But I would not have a bullet in my quad and I just got hit with a huge sniper round. So that's actually really, really impressive. Good job, dude. That's crazy. And I, that could not be any closer to going through. Yeah, this one cut the, cut the wrenches right in half and just kept on going. She's going, she, then it went through that center block and I think through a hole in the table, but this one's done. Your Craftsman wrenches are no match for a 762 by 54 r This one, 
Dude, it stopped too? So I shot it here. I thought, I'll shoot over here in a spot we haven't hit yet. It'll probably go through. Yeah, I did not. That's crazy. We have two remaining, and I'd like to make that zero. Hey, this is a 50 cal. Um, shoots a bullet that's about a quarter inch in diameter. It's a full metal jacket, 50 BMG, uh, out of the Barrett M82A1. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go through both um, easily. These are not armor penetrating, they're just regular rounds. And uh, I think there's no way that they'll stop them. If they do, I'll award this guy a government contract. That's not in my power, but I'll, I'll figure out a way because he deserves it. All right, here we go. Firing. I forgot about the muzzle blast. Firing. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I think it stopped it. Yeah, probably that second one for sure stopped it when it threw everything back this direction. All right, um, let's go see which one gets the government contract. Okay, let's see what we got here. I see all the pieces everywhere, none of them on the table. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Actually, that's that's brass right there, look at this. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's brass. So the bullet kept going through, but the jacket got stuck in that back steel plate. Uh, there's our entry hole. You can see the Kevlar actually in there, it's kind of burned. That was not an incendiary or anything, it just, uh, was going through so fast I think the friction burned it. Um, that one would for sure have left a bruise on the old thigh. Um, that is not a pass. This one, I'm gonna say, I, I don't think this stopped it either. It looked epic smashing through there. Yeah, I mean, there's pieces all back there. There's pieces way over there. There's pieces over here. There's pieces everywhere. Little baby. Got it. This makes me really happy. It's so quiet. Oh, I missed. I think that was the wind though, got that one. The sun was in my eyes. And that's not a regulation target, that's a problem. That's a problem, all right. I'm gonna hit that little baby one again. It's so tiny. Woo! Like three more maybe? Last shot. Better make it, oh shit. Good thing I had my forearm totally guarded that whole time as I was Walking through the house, clearing it, you know, Mike, totally protected. Anyway, it's a good idea. I don't know if that's a real thing, if any actually legit things use forearm armor, but it's something I've never thought of. And it's interesting. We had a, we had a big shoulder armor in one of my older videos, and that was the same premise. Like, you go into a room, this shoulder is blocking this whole part of your body here, so you get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of protection there. The Q Mini Fix, very, very cool little tiny package that delivers a big punch. No need for a joke on that one. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite
simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>